Have you ever seen an animal and your first thought was, it's pretty ugly, but also quite cute? Take a look at this sloth. It's not the best looking animal, but is still adored by millions of people. It is generally considered as cute. Other ugly icons include doe-eyed tarsiers, squishy desert rain frogs, and round-eyed jumping spiders. Some even find the blobfish so cute, they've made it into cute characters and stuffed toys. But why is it that us humans find ugly animals so cute? First of all, it's important to recognize that cuteness is a subjective concept, and what one person finds cute may not be the same for another. That being said, there are a few common factors that can influence our perception of cuteness in animals. One important factor is the size and shape of an animal's features. For example, animals with large eyes and round faces are often perceived as being cuter than those with small eyes or more elongated features. This is because large eyes and round faces are associated with youth and vulnerability, which can trigger a protective response in humans. For instance, the Philippine tarsier has huge round eyes and a small round face. Researchers have found that these baby-like traits make us think they are in need of our companionship or care, which causes the rush of warm emotion that is the cuteness response, even though it's definitely not the prettiest animal. Another factor that can influence our perception of cuteness in animals is the way they move and behave. Animals that are playful and move in a jerky or awkward manner are often considered cute, possibly because these behaviors remind us of human infants, who are also often thought of as cute. For instance, a pangolin walks on its back legs. The way it takes tiny steps and jerky movement is rather cute. Another example is the desert rain frog, which almost drags its chubby round body through the desert sand, much like a human baby crawling. It's also worth noting that cultural and personal factors can play a role in how we perceive the cuteness of animals. For example, some people may find certain animals cute because they have a personal connection to them, while others may not find them cute at all. Similarly, certain animals may be considered cute in some cultures, but not in others. An example of this is what cats symbolize in some cultures in India. Here, cats are considered as a symbol of bad luck, and in ancient India, the word cat was used to refer to outcasts. This cultural perception of cats is different from Western countries, where cats mainly represent a cute companion. In Japan, there's a word called kimokawaii, which roughly translates to creepy cute. The gist of kimokawaii is that, though an animal may seem off-putting at first, the viewer will actually find it interesting and want to approach and know it a little more. For instance, the Japanese love the roach-like giant isopod, so much they've made it into a hot-selling plush doll. Many people from Western cultures might find this concept of animals being creepy cute bizarre. However, it all comes down to culture. So why do some people find ugly animals cute? It's possible that it's due to a combination of these factors, as well as the fact that many of these animals have unique and endearing qualities that make them special in their own way. It's important to remember that all animals deserve respect and appreciation, regardless of whether we find them cute or not. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content!